Well, anyway, while we're waiting for this to load, as you can tell by all these, by these characters here, I am making a Super Smash Bros. map with a few Minecraft characters um, as well. I've been working on this for a few months now, and uh, for a few weeks now, I mean, not months. Uh, yeah, I've got most of the characters finished, and I've got two maps finished, and I'll show you them in a second. But here's the maps I've got for from Smash Bros. They are Pokemon Stadium, Kirby Dream Land. Mushroom Kingdom, Hyrule Castle, Green Hills, Sector Z, Yoshi's Island, and Final Destination. I'm also going to have a few extras in the single player that I'm making. However, um, they will not be added in multiplayer yet. And here's some of the Minecraft places. Forest Biome, Nether, The End, Snow Biome, and MPC Village. And here's one of my uh, maps here, Kirby Dreamland. Dreamland, I'm sorry. Uh, here it is. I'm going to use um, the map item edit thing to put a face on the tree, kind of like the face in, uh, soup in the Mario ma in the Kirby map. But I've got the rainbow in the background like there usually is and I had no idea what he was doing. I tried to figure it out but I'm not that great with redstone. Um, but I figured out how to use command blocks and redstone repeaters. And, well, I know a little bit about redstone. Um, but here it is. Choose a player. And then when you choose a player, I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to choose player one. 3, 2, 1, fight. If I do slash kill, I'll spawn. I'll spawn back in one of these. Then I'll say I have three lives, and I'll keep going to one. Keep killing myself here. Two. There's one life left. Okay. And I die. And what's this? I'm here. And oh my gosh, no. What the heck happened here? Okay. Now for my... T I'm also going to... I'm going to show you Pokemon Stadium as well. So I've got that finished. Here's Pokemon Stadium. Uh, I'm not that good at making maps, so please don't criticize me or lecture me on this. Uh, it's one of, this is my first map I have ever made. And for will make. Um, oh, I'm just kidding. I'm going to try to make more and, so I can get better at all at this stuff. But here it is. Yep. And it's the same stuff used in my Kirby Dream Run map. It's a very simple thing, but I'm not going to show how I did it in this video. I'll show it in my next progress video. But, uh, yeah. This is the reset game button. It'll make you go fall out of the world, clear your inventory, and change your game mode and stuff. This is my YouTube link if you ever want to contact me on the Facebook page. And this is all the rules. And please make sure if you do download this in the future to read this. Okay then. Now I'm going to show you how to. Now I'm going to show you how to use Map Item Editor. First, you're going to go to, you can just type in, oh, I'm sorry, my, I'm your and editor, to be precise. 
Uh, I'll put this link in the description. There, or you can just copy it off of here. But, you screw if you have a Mac like I do, actually, if you have a Windows as well, any computer, you click this download thing. You don't even have to read this because I'm going to show you how to use it. Um, click that. It'll bring you here. Then click the download link right here. And hold on, I don't know what you're supposed to do from here. I think you're supposed to just wait. Yep, you just wait and I'll give you this. Don't worry about the Mac thing but because once you download it, I'm not sure if the Windows allows you to use that zip. However, I'll show you a great site for Windows if that's the case. However, see, map item edit exe this is for Windows and run doc command for Mac. Anyway, you click on run doc command, at least I do because I'm a Mac user. Click OK. I don't understand that. He's got a few bugs in here, and if the owner of this great uh, map item edit thing, uh, I hope he does respond to this because it has been bothering me for a long time but um, first I'm going to show you that you can add text in it uh, click the add text button and on. oh so you can choose where you want it submit Why isn't this working? Okay, once that loads, my computer is very slow right now for some reason, so very sorry for all the lag here. Um, I don't know. You're gonna have, you're gonna have to see another tutorial on that because I am having issues I'm adding text for some reason. He, he, I hope he sees that bug too, or he gives a better description because I've read that thing. I'm having trouble signing text. Anyway, to the image thing. Okay, I need Bowser, so you search the thing you want, or you can just go to your. I use Photo Booth, but you probably use iPhoto or something else. Um, but you can take photos and you can drag in that too. I'll show you that. That's true, uh, but you go to images, and oh wait, first you put on 128 for height, 128 for width. I said that all backwards. Said that backwards, but whatever. Okay, once you find an image, uh, once you search your image, you're gonna have to find one. I would prefer I would uh, I prefer 300 and lower because you have to try it and you have to have height and width and how you find out if that image has that thing for the new Firefox all you have to do is look down here I'll say something like this my this one says 180 times 148 so you'd be able to use this one. But I'm not going to because I'm looking for just a Bowser only picture. And I would suggest finding quite a few of them because you never know how it's going to turn out because of the way Minecraft maps are made. Okay, once you have picked your characters, I'm going to go to new because I just messed up and click cancel. Okay, now you drag your image in and 
holy shoe. Sometimes it'll mess up. Um, when you choose a larger image, you click don't mo uh, maintain, drag it in, and it'll try to get your character. See? I've got that. However, sometimes it'll require you to maintain. I think this picture will show that as well. See, it looks kind of weird. Because the map colors don't really let you do much. Click maintain. Dragon. Nope. That photo's not. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And what you do is this where the bug comes. You can't just click new and save it the way you should be able to, but because but because of the way it's made, if you click new and you save it, it will bug out and it won't work. So you just click save as and I'm gonna say this is map number uh let's see I've already got eighty so eighty six. Save. I'll save successfully. Okay. Now what you do is you quit out of mono. Oh yeah, you're also gonna download mono. You're gonna have to download mono as well. I'll show you that one really quickly. What you have to do is go back to the map item viewer. Anyway, for mono, I'm, I apparently was wrong. You're gonna have to go to mono. I'm gonna put this download link in that. As long as I bring you back here. Hold on. Click on 3.0.9. Click. Mono develop. Actually, no, I already did this. It's bad. Click Mono MDK installer. Click OK. Anyway, I've already got downloaded, but what you're going to have to do is then uh, install it and apply to whatever it says and all that. Actually, hold on. I think in the map item it goes to download mono. Anyway, I hope I got that right because it's been a long time since I've downloaded this. So I'm not sure. But yeah. Do what you have to do. Try that. Then you run that run dot command. And because I've already got my map 86.dat, I'm going to go to library. Gage export. Minecraft. I've got a quicker way of doing it just by clicking this folder, but I'm going to show you exactly how to get to it. You Okay, now you see these folders. You have to try to find the world that you have the, the numbers in. Click on that. Then you click data. Okay, this is a little unorganized. So. You'll have less in here, but because I've got so many maps, I have quite a bit in here. So, anyway, you drag and drop the dot back in there, do slash you do replace, and you're all set. However, you probably will want to, uh, to make sure that you've got it named exactly like this. You don't want any capital letters or anything. You want lowercase m a p uh, underscore 70 dot dat. Actually, it already does dot down when you save it. Good as new. That was her. A little battle on one of these maps. You vote, actually. Pokemon Stadium, Kirby Dreamland, or and have Mushroom Kingdom, and possibly Hyrule Castle. Then. So pick a vote and pick one of these, and you'll and I'll see you soon.